Hi everyone. Tell you what I'm going to do. I wasn't sure whether to show you this or not, but I'm actually hoping that oh, here comes my doggies again. Would you like a quick sneak at my doggies? Would you? Okay. I haven't decorated. That's what you're supposed to say, aren't you, on YouTube? There's one little doggy. Oh, hang on, hang on, just a sec. There you go. Oh, there's my little doggies. Okay. I'll show you them probably another day. Now, what I want to talk to you about is in my usual unprofessional way, I think you've gathered that from welcome to my channel, that I don't have camera equipment, lights, all the setup. I may do one day, but right now, excuse the sniff, I have a chair, another chair, and another chair, me with the wardrobes. So let me remind you, I have autism. I might say that every time, um, just because if some people do actually watch my videos, um, it might explain how I am. So um, anyway, I'm getting off point. Now, what I wanted to talk to you about was that I've been very lucky this year. We've managed to save up for some nice advent calendars. And we've also managed to get a lot on discount sale. And I'm a very lucky mumsy ma, moo, and whatever else my daughter likes to call me. Um, she's actually uh, made me one that we've been using for the last three years. And we've started to say it doesn't matter if there's, you know, just a, a piece of paper in there that says, hello. We don't care. I just, I love the fact that she's made me this calendar. But I will be doing opening my advent calendars with you. Um, you might enjoy that. You might not. You can always switch off. But what I did decide to show you was that uh, I was, so, as I said earlier, you know, I was lucky this year with my advent calendars. But there's something that I have done that might be more accessible for people and um, it's something you can do over the whole year. By the way, have you noticed I've actually got my glasses on this time, I've just realised. By the way, um, I sometimes need glasses if I'm doing um, close-up work and as I say, a bit of an old fart these days. Might need to switch to these as well. <laughs> it's all going downhill. Hey, I need a little lie down in a minute. Oh, anyway, I've actually, do you like the professional move here? I've also made an advent calendar bag. And in it, with a bit of tissue paper on top, are absolutely loads and loads of bits from day one to day 24. Now, the reason that I did this was because I, I didn't actually know that we'd managed to get uh, some of the advent calendars on sale or that I would have uh, got enough money uh, saved up or that uh, my daughter uh, would have uh, also treated me this year because, you know, I think we all have to look at the fact of uh, budgets sometimes. Um, well, I certainly know I do. Um, and I don't think that's too far removed from a lot of other people as well. So uh, I did sort of take a look um, over the last few months of, well, hang on a minute. What if everybody can go and buy that expensive advent calendar, but what if they can't? Um, I think even more so this year, um, times are more difficult. But there's always the concept and the idea of want. People will always want. And I'm not saying that's good. I'm not saying that's bad. But what I've tried to do is do this advent calendar, you know, like make your own, with using as little cost as possible. Now I know there's going to be lots of people that say, oh, that's still too expensive, Ashley. I still can't afford that. Well, you could possibly still do this idea, but maybe adjust it even more to your budget. 
perhaps, you know, uh, instead of having some of the items that I've got in here, you could have just sweets. One bag of sweets, a pound from pound shop, could make this. It, it doesn't always have to be about the cost. Yes, it's, it's nice to have, you know, the fancy things. I, I like to save up for something fancy. Uh, my daughter does, you know, she'll, she'll save up for something for me. Um, I, I do have a weakness, you know, for bags and other nice things, but you know, sometimes you have to wait or you don't get, or you do get. So now let me take you through this, uh, what I've uh, made here. Now I'm gonna switch glasses again, because. The, you know, the wardrobe set up there. <laughs> uh, do you know what? I'm just thinking, who's going to watch this? Who is going to watch this old beep? I mean, you know, I'm using an iPad. I've got no lights. I'm sitting here in my gyms with a nice top on. I just, I'm whacking my arm on the wardrobes that are going to be being ripped out. I've got the advent calendar bag perched on another chair. It's just, oh, I tell you what, those keyboard warriors are gonna come for me. They're gonna come for me telling me what I need and don't need. Okay, great, could, could you buy it then? Because we can't. I'm just trying to do something that I've always wanted to do, but never really got around to doing it. So um, I'm not gonna go at YouTube. I'm now gonna have a go at showing you my homemade advent calendar. Now be kind. Okay, right. I've switched glasses again. What I did was I wrote down, I'm going to just put my finger over the PTO bit for now. I wrote down literally everything that it cost. Now, I will say I reused the bag. They, if I'm not incorrect, tap back the tissue paper. If I'm not incorrect, I think think this was part of a set from Tesco's oh several years ago and I think we got them all for 20 odd p in the pack you know the typical Christmas clearance I do sound like a cheapskate and yet I'm, I'm not I do have nice things it's just you know when you think I'm just I think I want to show you that sometimes you you can have nice things but if if you can't and as I say, do, do forgive me, I am autistic, I might not be wording this right, but you, you can still do it, but in a different way. And it might take you months to collect this, you might collect it for a sister, a brother, you know, you might have a brother that wants a, a bag of Advent things, or your nan, or mum, dad, aunt, a carer, whoever it is. I, I think I just want someone not to feel that they're missing out that they can have the want okay right so i have made a note i don't know if that's back to front with you i don't know i'm so unprofessional aren't i now i have made a note of every item of what it cost um because i think there's no point if you don't let you know what it's cost okay but bearing in mind, my budget was about, say, £20 for this homemade advent calendar. It came in at £22.05 p for all you mathematicians out there. But what I did was I made a point as well of using old wrapping paper. I had some labels and I've just written on there, number two, what we got here, number 20. Don't worry, I'm not going to take you through every number. Could you imagine a video on every number? And this is number one and number two. Actually, I am going to be doing opening my advent calendars from one to 25. Okay, let's just wind that in a bit. Righto. And say, so, I don't know, is that six or nine? Oh, well, that'd be a surprise. So, and I've also made a point of not wrapping them neatly. Because if somebody has problems with their hands, arthritis or something, or, or any other health condition, I don't want them to think, well, I can't wrap that neatly. So, although my idea originally was to wrap them beautifully, I chose not to. Um, and I chose to use labels 
with a bit of sellotape over the top and um, you know just as it is I've shoved them literally shoved nice shoved them all into this this bag here so I think I've mentioned that I've used a reused bag I've used leftover paper I already had the labels and I've written down everything that it's cost over the last few months that I've collected now what what I'd like to suggest is that you know even if oh sorry I forgot to mention I even had this rather great bit of tissue paper left over <laughs> nice again so I popped that on top and I did think that uh, with opening the other advent calendars uh, we could open this one as well because it's been done a while it, you know it's going to be a surprise for me as well now um, what I'd like to say is that you know uh, coming back to what I was saying earlier that if you know sort of 20 pounds is too much or you might be able to afford 30 40 um, hey you know 100 pounds uh, you you might uh, only have five pounds hence a bag of sweets for the person opening it they don't know what they're opening and sometimes don't you think it's the thought that counts don't we all like to be thought of whether it's a big gesture small gesture again I apologize if I don't say things um, in the way that they should be um, obviously I am new to this so um, you know do bear with me but now I'd, I'd also like to suggest with homemade advent calendars and it's probably been said all over YouTube I don't know this is just my little sort of extra sort of to put in you know just bear in mind that if you've got someone that loves sewing you can again from very cheap shops pick up packs of sewing kits and you can take them all apart and you could wrap that up and put a sweetie in with it to sort of you know make it various um, the other thing um, that I'd like to suggest, and it's it's something that um, helps me get, you know, those fancy items, is usually after Christmas, um, I, well, actually, I'd say mainly after Christmas, you do get a lot of the Christmas stuff on clearance or reduced, or there are still the three for two offers. Bear in mind, when you're out and about throughout the year, that... Um, you know you can uh, collect bits and pieces so you don't have the sudden expense uh, you know um, anything's doable if you put your mind to it and you know one of the places I, I do enjoy is um, and again I don't know if I'm allowed to say the shop um, but it I'm saying it from a, a good place uh, TK Maxx uh, in the UK um, I often have you know a wonderful time there with um, people I know because we might find you know something very expensive that has been discounted or it might just need a wash or a clean and that's not to say that you know you, you can't go somewhere and, and buy something that isn't in you know in that condition but I, I just think I'm tr really trying to reach out to people that you know might not be able to access you know a, a 30 pound pallet um it, i'm lucky as i have said in my you know introductory video you know worked over the years or saved up or been you know bought um i, I do have some very nice things but i've also known what it is um you know to have hard times as well you know like life hasn't always uh dealt the the kindest of ways and I think it's only as I become older that you know perhaps life's a little bit better even with my bad health and you know um what hey what whatever you know as I like to you know I won't blow your barnet back but uh I think that's about it I will be opening my advent calendars because I'm probably one of the few people that hasn't opened my advent calendar doors what is it with people opening all their advent calendar doors you might as well not get an advent calendar does that make any sense you might as well just think oh you know what I'll just go and buy a load of stuff 
and just have it there in the carrier bag. Whereas, you know, I really enjoy the, the fun of what little surprise I, I might get. I can't say one word because otherwise my little doggies, Bert and Ted, will rush in thinking they're getting something nice. Anyway, um, I hope that sort of helped a few people. Um, hi, Teddy. I hope that's helped a few people, you know, um, think about, hey, I might be able to do that next year. That's quite a good idea, Ashley. You know, you might be an old fart sitting behind the dodgy wardrobes propped up on chairs using an iPad, but that's not a bad idea. I think I'll give that a go. I think that's me over and out. What else have we got? Oh, I've even put no need for nice wrapping. Now, I'm not saying use an old chip wrapper, you know, or the leftover dog satchel. What do you, you know, recycling. I suppose you could use a leftover dog sachet, couldn't you, Bertie? But just give it a go. You know, if, if you have the time and, you know, I don't know, a few pennies spare or you can save up for it. Give it a go, you know, um, anything's possible. I'm sitting here doing YouTube and I didn't think I would be. So yeah, anything's possible. <laughs> okay, right, that's me over and out. I'm gonna lean forward again to press the button because my videos aren't edited. What you see is what you get. Oh, hang on, I've forgotten something, glass switch. Give this video a thumbs up, a like, subscribe try not to be nasty try not to be horrible not that i care but you might upset someone else not good that's a thumbs down and yeah i'm sitting here in the pajamas don't have anything else to say hope that helped speak to you soon and i'm gonna as i say lean forward press the button because there's no fancy gear here i'm afraid